Hello fellow naughty steppers, it's review time once again, I'm feeling extra ruddy naughty and it's time to share my thoughts with you on the new Beard Thug EP, You Won't Like This, released on Mal Label Music. Now I must admit I hadn't heard anything of this American duo before listening to this EP, but as soon as I saw the weird bass hashtag on their SoundCloud page for this EP, I knew that I was getting myself into something a little bit different, just a little bit naughtier, you know, something really bloody naughty. I mean, if it's weird, then it's going to be experimental, quirky, bit glitchy possibly in some respects. And I wasn't wrong at all in terms of that glitchy and experimental aspect, but this is an EP that I love from track to track through number one to three. It possesses a very enticing and alluring opening on the introduction track Morning Mimosa, which is a lovely layering of string sounds and different drums and electronic notes all blended together nicely to give it that really epic feel as soon as this one kicks off. And if this doesn't seize the attention of the listener instantly then it's very glitchy aesthetic whilst coupled with quite a sombre and soothing almost reflective tone throughout the EP gives a nice balance uh, from track one through to track three. And there are some very memorable moments of musicality in this thing, from the aforementioned introduction in Morning Mimosa to the more enduring nature of this musical element in This Falafel Has Drugs In It, as well as the small snippets that occur in the final track. The title of which is Regretamine. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. And this constant juxtaposition between the glitchiness and the musicality is a fantastic contrast that props up the EP as a whole extremely well. It's dainty music, yet it's similarly quite weighty, mixing some heavy bass sounds with some flittering sound effects that lie over the top of this structure quite nicely. And whilst the final track doesn't hit quite as hard as the previous two, it certainly does a good job of slowing the EP down as a whole and drawing it to a fitting close. And this goes without mentioning the song titles, which, as you've already heard, are incredibly inventive, quirky, thought-provoking. They're just not what you'd expect, and I feel like this aspect alone is enough to entice the listener into listening to this thing from start to finish. And talking of titles, in denial of the general title of this EP, You Won't Like This, I actually like this thing quite a lot. It certainly goes off on its random tangents throughout the three tracks, but I think this complements the weirdness of the sound design quite nicely throughout. At all points in this EP, it hints at consistency and structure without ever quite getting there, leaving the listener constantly guessing as to where it's going to go next. And I think this is what I like most about it. It may take a few listens, but once you become more and more accustomed to its general sound, I think you'll grow to love it. And in terms of a favourite from this EP, I would have to say that it's the middle track, This Falafel Has Drugs In It, that had me most. It's extremely vibrant and full of flavour, mostly delicate but packing a real punch at the same time. And is quite reminiscent, I'd say, of some of the stuff from Virtual Riot's Throwback EP, which I listed in my top 15 EPs of 2017, so check out that video if you want a bit more detail with that one. And similarly to that Virtual Riot EP, I think with this song in particular, there's the best chemistry between all of its component parts, considering there are such a plethora of different sounds within those few minutes. And if you like this EP overall, then I would definitely suggest listening to some Savant, some Glitter Soda, some Ulusail, if you want to have this sort of glitchy style, but take it in a darker direction, and even some Cohen sound. And I shall link some stuff from all of those artists in the description box down below. And that's it for another review, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment on your thoughts with this EP. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Just let me know what you thought about it overall. And if you've enjoyed the content so far, this video, including previous ones that I've done in the last couple of weeks to get this channel up and running, then be sure to share it about with anyone that you think might be interested in the concept as well. And in the description box as well, there will be links to my past videos, including the review of the audio records compilation that I did the other day, as well as my yearly favorites of 2017 playlist, which includes singles, remixes, and EPs. 
And lastly, I will also be linking all of my social media accounts down below in the description box. So that's SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And if you could give all of those a like or a follow, then I'd be very grateful. It'd be much appreciated. And lastly, from me, if you do think of anything that you want to see me do on this channel beyond EP, album, compilation reviews, then do let me know. I'm almost definitely going to be starting a Tracks of the Week review video from Monday, and that'll be going up once a week. So that's one thing beyond the reviews. But yeah, if there's anything else you want to see, then do let me know in the comments. Never forget, people, if it's naughty, then you know. Just when you're listening to a tune and you're like, oh, oh, that's good. Oh, boy, that's good. And that's when you know, guys. That's when you know it's proper naughty. So, yes, naughty steppers, keep it naughty and stay safe. Peace.